All right, everybody. We're at a good mink location. Uh, when I was in Arkansas, mink trapping, the culverts like this was a hot, hot spot for mink. They get under them, investigate. I don't know if it's the water trickling through. I don't know what causes it. Uh, they're in Arkansas. The the culvert like that were a lot smaller, but still, nevertheless, it's deep water. It's a good spot to to catch a mink. Um, there's some mink tracks over on that side of the creek, running up. Um, so we're we're at an awesome location for mink. So what I've done here, I made two sets. I shaved that bank over there on the other side, and then I just simply made a, a wobble hole. I stuffed a piece of old muskrat car, uh, leg in the back of it and set a no BS one and a half in front of it. It staked out into deep water with a with a drowning pole for him to wrap up on. On that side, there's that set. Then on this side, much simpler, very simple set. Got a, uh, along that wall, it's made a simple blind set. It's out, it's actually on a drowner. It's actually pretty deep out under there, so anything gets caught in here should go straight down to the bottom. Uh, I could actually catch a beaver here, and I probably will after I get done meat trapping. But save that for another day. So all I've done is taken a, uh, a rock, a flat rock, and kind of built it up on the side there, because it was kind of deep. It was probably... A good, oh, six inches deep in that spot when I made that set. And I know there's foam. It's kind of hard to see. So I just raised it up so it's only about an inch deeper where the water is right there. It's hugging up on that wall just for my own sanity. I was going to take a rock in place right here, but I'm afraid it's going to actually mess up my set because of that that rock I already put in there so we're just gonna take a simple stick about a half three quarters to it or about a half inch in diameter and I'm just gonna stick it right there kind of show that me running through here that's all concrete to set that up that makes a really good Makes the blind set a little better. Keeps the mink centered where I want him at when he comes running down here. I have no doubt in my mind, it might take a week, but we're going to catch a mink at this location. We've got this side blocked off, this set part of the bridge blocked off with two sets. Then you turn around, and on that side of the bridge, you got a good mink, double mink trap set over there. Hey everybody, it's Darren Cheek from Ozark Mountain Lures. I understand it's dark out here i've checked several traps now the very first time i checked i didn't catch anything but a coon by accident on a drowner uh we're at one of our stops one of the sets i made on video it's a blind set uh if you come right over here this is a blind set in the wall and bingo you can see the prize this is just a blind set, no trap, no, just a trap, no lure on a drowner up against this bridge wall. This is where I had the debris pile that I, I said this is a minky location. Got a pocket over there, but looks like it's been, been worked, but nothing's been caught in it. If you go over here, I wish it was daylight, I'm sorry. I don't remember when I made this set, I think I put a rock in here because the water was up. But now the water's down, so I moved the rock, which is, that's it laying right there. And then if you look down the drowner, bingo, pay dirt. First mink of the season, that was a targeted mink, not an accidental. On the drowner, awesome. Very happy with this one. All right, we're done making the set for the, the remake where we just caught this mink. I don't know if you can see it over there. 
Got another, uh, just a small pocket over there with some mink musk. I think it's uh, A.M. Graw's minky, mink number one. And then we got a blind set right here with nothing. It's a blind set on this bridge wall. This is where we just took the mink out of the trap. It's set. All ready for action. Off to the next location. Hey everybody, it's Darren Cheek from Ozark Mountain Lures. We're on a, what I call a pitch perfect mink looking location. Nice little creek drains. We're kind of close to the headwaters here. Went out Sunday. I'm running a mink line. That's the only thing I'm running right now. I do have just like that a, a few conibears set for otter, but mostly we're running mink. We're focused on mink, nothing else. I come in here Sunday. This is the last location I set um, out here, and I'm just running blind sets, just running a, a nice little mink line. Today, I can see that when I check this one from the road, I can see that that right under that overhang where I got a blind set, I can see a chewed up piece of root, and. I don't know if I can focus in right there very good, but I can see a mink tail. This is a blind set I made. This is what it's all about. Got a nice mink under there, and I think he's alive. I haven't been over there yet. Just grabbed the camera and came, which I don't catch a whole lot of them alive. There he is. He made him a pocket. Beautiful animal. That's awesome. Got a mink, got it in a number 11. Duke, perfect little blind set under a root wad, had a nice little platform to run where the creek met, or the water met the bank. Stuck a number 11, just made a blind set, and four days later, there's the, suc the success. I love mink, mink trapping. This is an old time, old time set. It's in every old trapping book talking about blind sets. I, I've got maybe 30 mink traps out, and I've probably got five that have lure on them. Keep the coon out of them and catch them nice mink. I'm going to get off here and dispatch him and head to the next location. Right now, I'm at one of my little honey holes. There's something about this spot that produces year after year. Anyways, the last time... I was on video, I was right straight through there, had a nice buck mink caught, I was running a little mink line, and when I put out my mink line, I found a, this tree root sticking out, and it's, the water's really up, it's flooded, it flooded two days ago, it's finally coming down, but right there at that root system, or that, uh, that tree that's sticking out, there's a root system under it, and you can see the water was as high, how high the water was, from all the debris piled up there. But I got out of the truck to check it, and I had a 330 set there, made a bottom edge for a front otter. And I'll show you the results. My favorite set. I couldn't tell you how many otter that I've caught at this bottom edge set. Got a nice, got a nice male. This ain't a very big creek. This ain't a place you'd think otters would be running up and down all the time. And they, they probably don't run up and down at all the time. But this time of year, they sure the heck do. So we got a nice otter there, just kind of a bonus on the mink line at the bridge under the bridge I made a bridge wall set for mink um, the water was not nearly this high but it's a good place to make a bridge wall it was about an inch inch deep right there I figured the mink would be swimming down and then I made a bottom edge set with a 160 for mink up against the wall bottom of this wall 
But right here, I noticed there's a bunch of rock up here. My trap's missing. There was a grass sod right there with a trap on it and under about an inch of water. And today when I come check it, I find my trap. Oh, that thing's alive. Holy shit. That's a live beaver. I thought it was dead. It's been underwater for since I've got here, and I've been here walking around for five or six minutes. Actually, longer than that. I went and checked all these other traps, pulled one up, and that beaver has been underwater, sitting under there since I got here, and it is 100% alive. That is crazy. That's the first time whew, that's ever happened to me. I've only got him by a toe. I'm going to get off here and get him dispatched. 